How to get date and time in Java. In this video, we are going to discuss about the date and time functions in Java. So Java provides the date class which constitutes the current date and the time. This class is available in the util package that is java.util and it has several constructors and methods also of the particular date class. So the date class works with two constructor that the first constructor which is have is date. Now this constructor will initialize the object with the current date and the time. Now if you give this particular there is another constructor date long milliseconds. This constructor accepts an argument that equal to the number of millisecond you have passed since the midnight of any particular day you have passed but that has to be the argument equal to the number of milliseconds. Now there are several methods also in the date class that is boolean before date and this is the object which you might have created. It returns true if the invoked date object contains a date that is earlier than one specified by the value. That is date we can use the or else or if statement to return the false cases also. Similarly there is also before so there is a, an after function also. It returns true if the date which is given in object contains a date that is later than the specified one by the date given. To check if both the dates are equal then we can use the function known as boolean equal to check if two dates have same time and date specified each other if they are having the same date. Now you can compare also to check that identically compare the date of an object then how can we do that we can similarly use the compare to function. So this can be used to check the comparison of also. Similarly if you can fetch the local date also such as how can you get the current date. So firstly you need to import a package and the package is import java dot time dot local date. So if you import this particular package and then what you have to do is you have created a class and public static void main method then you have you want to create a variable such as local date and the variable which you might have created is let's say d and then what you want to fetch the exact date and time of now. So for that we can use a now function in this local date class so local date dot now and then you can with the help of SOP statement print this particular variable d for printing the exact date of now. So this will only get you the date but if you want to fetch the time and date together then how can you do that for time also how can you do that you have to use the local time here instead of local date you can use the local time dot now. So this will give you the time the exact hour minutes and seconds along with the milliseconds it will give you. Now how to get the current date and time that you want to get date as well as the time that is today's date also and time together. For that what you have to do is after you import the java dot time dot local date time package you will import java dot time dot local date time this package firstly you will import then let's say we create a class naming example so we create a public class example and in then the public static void main method string args we will write and then we will local date time and we will create an object let's say d and this is going to print us the local date and time. So local date and time you can write here and then you can use the function now. So now function will give us date and time together and then with the help of SOP statement we are going to print this d. So it will give us the output of the date and then the time. So if you want to display the different uh, format that display the date and times differently or in different formats we have a method called off pattern. So that off pattern method can be used for displaying it in separate pattern that the previous format is this and the next format is this. So you have to not do anything you have to just use the dot format method for using the format date or the pattern of that. So that is an another aspect of functionality firstly let us execute this program and see how can we generate the local date and time. 
So here you can see that firstly I have imported the java.time package and created a class name example exp and there I have created firstly a d new object for the local date time and I want to check the date and time of now that means the exact moment local date and time and I have printed that particular with the help of system.outprintln statement. Now as I run this particular java file you can see here that it displays today's date and the time that is 4 o'clock 6 minutes and the seconds and today's day that is 18th Feb 2021. So this is how we can use the local date and time function to fetch the date and time in Java. For more concepts we will look into upcoming videos.